Superblock's application frontends are composed of UI components, state variables, and JavaScript functions. And you can connect the frontend to backend APIs for data and business logic. Let's dive in. Using drag and drop, you can add pre-built components, including tables, charts, forms, and even your own custom React components too. Each component has a set of properties like size and color on the text element. Components also have event handlers to trigger actions such as on row click in the table component. You can even reorder columns and change their display types to currency, image, a specific date format, and even this nice tag. Properties can be modified via the UI or programmatically using JavaScript. In order to write JavaScript, use double curly braces we call bindings, which enable every property to be infinitely extensible with code. Here, I'm using the moment.js library to set today's date with specific formatting in our table heading. The front end follows the same declarative paradigm as React.js. This means each component has properties which can depend on state or API response. When I change the dropdown to pending, an API is triggered to fetch pending applications from my database, which automatically updates the table state which re-renders it. With Superblocks, you don't need expertise in React.js, Angular, HTML, or CSS. You can deliver beautiful, highly customized UIs for every internal tool your team needs in minutes.